friends, welcome to today's STEM challenge. I'm Lindsay from the Downtown Library and today we're going to be discovering sound and color. We're making some musical water glasses. So what you'll need for this experiment is six or seven, probably seven, wine glasses or any other kind of glass that you have at home. It can be jars or vases or whatever you've got at hand and it works best if they're all about the same size but if you're like me you don't have eight of the same glasses and that's okay. You're also going to need three containers full of water and we're going to make one yellow with yellow food coloring. We've got a red one and a blue one and you're also going to need a spoon or something that you can gently tap the glasses with to make the different sounds. So as you can see, I've got three bigger glasses and four smaller glasses. And they make a slightly different sound. So if I tap on the larger one, it sounds like this. And if I tap on the smaller one, it sounds like this. So you can hear that They make different noises. So the larger one makes a lower sound than the higher one. But what happens if we put a little bit of water in each of them? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to start with my big glass here. Sounds like that. I'll take my blue water and I'll pour just a little bit in there. Let's see if it sounds different. Not really. So for the next glass, I'm going to take the red water and I'm going to pour more into that glass. Quite a lot more. You can really see the difference. Let's hear that glass. Not big difference either. And for the third glass, I'm going to use the yellow water. I'm going to pour lots and lots and lots and lots in there. There we go. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, there's a difference now. So if I play the red glass and the yellow glass, you can hear that the sound in the yellow glass went down. It's a little bit lower. So the more we put in the glass, the lower the sound should be. Let's try that out. So here's the blue glass. I put more water in the red one. Should be lower now. A little bit and even more in the yellow glass. Oh that's quite a lot lower. So now we've got three different sounds. Ready? Kind of pretty I think. So remember the smaller glasses made higher noises. So if I play the yellow one, it's quite low, and the higher one, it's all the way up there. So, I'm going to pour a mixture of two of the colors. So, if I start with blue, and I mix red, what color do you think we'll get? Were you right? Purple's my favorite color. So let's hear what that sounds like. Is it any different than the empty one? It's a little bit higher, isn't it? So for the next one, I'm going to start with blue. And let's put yellow in it. So what color do you think that's going to make? Let's see. Did you guess green? You were right. Let's hear what that sounds like with lots of water in it. Ooh, quite a lot lower. So let's hear the empty one. And one that's quite full. It's lower, isn't it? Okay, here we go. What colors have we not put together yet? Let's try red. And 
yellow. What color do you think we'll get? Well, that didn't really work, but it's supposed to be orange. Red and yellow make orange. And what sound do we have? Different than the empty one? Just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it. So now the fun part about having different levels of water in the glasses is that you can play a song. It doesn't have to be a real song. It can be a song that you made up. So if I play something like... There's my song. So if you do this experiment at home, you can create your own music. If you get more than one spoon or whatever you choose to use, you can play different notes at the same time. And if you're really clever, you can even write down your song by using the different colors in your glasses. And if you want, you can even mix together blue, red, and yellow. And what color are you going to get? Something that's not too pretty. So if you like this challenge and you want to learn more about sound, you can get a great book out of the library. It's called A Kid's Book of Experiments with Sound by Robert Gardner. And you'll be able to get that book when we are open again and we can all get together. So thanks for joining me today for the STEM challenge. We'll have a new one for you each week and I'd love to see your videos of the different songs that you were able to play on your musical wine glasses. Thanks for tuning in. Stay home, stay healthy, wash your hands, and take good care of each other. Bye friends.